Alrighty guys, so we are back at Armchair Adventures in Dole Cannery. Happy New Year's. This is January the 2nd and 2016, breaking into the new year with a 30k free heresy battle. I'm here with Brother James. Oh yeah, right there. So it's Kino over there, stuff, man the fort, and stuff, and everybody else here at Armchair Adventures. So in today's battle report, we have a free heresy battle between the Loyalist World Eaters versus the Manticore Legion. I will be using the Imperial Fisk rules for this particular battle, and we have another battle coming up after this against Robert with his sisters of battle. So in today's game, we have captured the objectives. We have a rim bracer up here named Patty. She's worth two points. We have a box there with some supplies worth one point. We have another box over here that's for two points. And all the way over there, we have another objective that's for three points. Um, in my particular army, I'm fielding a five-man lead Terminator squad. Um, count them without the storm shields. They're cataracting. They have thunder hammers and storm vultures, which I'm going to make a group of them with thunder hammers and storm vultures so I don't have to, you know, proxy. I have two Legion Tactical Squads of 20 guys and my own Praetor in the middle who has auto Pfizer armor, he has a Iron Halo, he also is counted as having the upgrade of the Hero Fist Storm Shield, um, the Mastercrafted Paragon Blade, a Architect Pistol, Digital Weapons, and that's about it for what he has. Coming over to James Army, what you got man? Have the Legion Praetor, he's gonna have a Volkai Charger, a Power Fist, Master Crafted uh, Paragon Blade, Digital Laser, Iron Handle, and a Jump Pack. The Legion Centurion is gonna be a very expensive uh, apothecary. He has a Volkai Charger, Artificial Armor, Tractor Shield, Jump Pack, and uh, the Primus Med as the, I will say, what was it, the console? Mm -hmm. The Legion uh, Command Squad is always gonna have Jump Packs. Two of them are going to have Volkai Chargers, four of them Power Fist, uh, all of them are going to have Combat Shields. Okay. Um, these two guys are just good old fashioned uh, tactical squads. Two tactical squads, uh, ten man, the one with the Rhino. Ten man. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool beans. So, um, he deployed first, I'm going to try to see if I can steal the objective. And rolling the crater for, nope. So you're going first. Alright, this is the battle for Legatome Planet. Battle, we'll be doing the battle we did previously with the, with the teaser, and we'll get back to you guys at the end of turn one. All right, <laughs> and we are back at the end of turn one. So basically what ended up happening here is as the death, as the dead bodies are hitting the floor <laughs> in the Alamo. So all the squads that are up here, so the squad moved over. These guys are taking a side thing because they're going after that object there with the, the Terminators. So my Terminators that were here moved up and now they're climbing. Uh, my squad that was here is climbing up. So they're still considered to be climbing though we still have the objective. This 20 man squad here moved across, took 38 shots into that squad over there. Um, only 18 of the guys were in uh, red fire range. <clears throat> the first two guys dropped, the first guy ate up some of the shots that he dropped. He just made his foot no pain and he dropped the banner bearer next to him. Ate up some shots and he dropped. And then the HQ jumped in front of the window and was like, I feel no pain. Ah, to the, until like the last nice. bolts around, the last bolts around dropped them and stuff. And then it, through the Vox channels, the commander is down. We must kill those orange bastards. <laughs> kill the fruity loose. <laughs> and, but they all moved, of course, to the center, um, getting close to capturing that objective. And no assaults were made. Any thoughts for the end of, end of the turn? Next <laughs> he, he wants revenge. Definitely getting in there. It's revenge for the commander. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get back to you guys at the end of turn two. Peace.
Alrighty guys, and we're back at the end of turn two. Uh, James, you have to go first for your top of your turn. Okay. Uh, basically, I was left with my Agent Max squad, jumped out of there, tried to do it a solo. The Overwatch, however, took out, I think, two of my guys. If I remember cool correctly. Two of my guys. And then, whatever guys that made it, actually, even the Overwatch took down my Medicaid. Um, from there, the last two guys did an awesome stand and took out at least two Marines out of. Uh, it's a 20 man squad. Uh, you took out one guy from shooting, and when he got into combat, they killed two guys in combat. Alright, so those two guys basically held on for about two assault phases, if I remember correctly. So they finally went down. Prime's Medicaid fought my sergeant, uh, McLeod. Um, he got his hit. The, the guy got his hits in, and then one power of fish destroyed the guy's head. Prime Medicaid went down, they lost a friend of pain, and then two of the guys survived for two phases of, of assaults. <clears throat> and took two guys down before the day dropped themselves. That's what I forgot to do. These guys moved over. And um, the. Oh, the Prime Medicaid had it. Yeah, I had it. It's the one right below the Iron Halo, so it's. Oh, so. Um, Matt, roll, roll for real quick. One. Yep, still that. All right. Uh, however, the last guy, he saved against the first power fist, and then he rolled a one against the other power fist. Um, the squad is over here. Moved over. Took some shots against them. They saved. Rhino moved over. Shot at my guys over here. Got two hits in. They saved. This squad has the rim racer up there. The little dots. There goes Patty. And. My HQ is separated from the squad, and he's going to try to trek his way over, <coughs> hoping to get into combat with somebody. All right, that's the end of turn two. We'll get back to you guys at the end of turn three. Alright, we're back at the end of turn three. So what ended up happening was <clears throat> Rhino moved over, guys got out, guys shot the squad, killing four, leaving one left alive. <clears throat> in my assault phase. Alright. Well, excuse me, my shooting phase he shot twice, did nothing, charged the second vulture shot out of the fifteen that hit him on Fury of the Legion, rapid fire, overwatch. <laughs> the bless you. Killed the guy. There was that first guy right there. Um, <clears throat> these guys, when they're, they broke away from combat, <clears throat> did a little more damage, killing some more guys, then left. Um, the sergeant killed one, missed the other two. Those guys, like I said earlier, died from massive bullet shot fire. Oh yes, yeah, right, and one guy also got killed by the Rhino. Good job, driver. These guys are just mosh putting it over here and stuff. My HQ is slowly making his way over that way because he's bored. <coughs> um, yeah, it's about to get real. Your thoughts, James? What's that? Your thoughts? Uh, in fact, the Marines are pretty fine. Cool, cool. That's, that's all I can think of right now. Gotcha. And so far, in Fury of the Legion, he got the East Fury of the Legion for the first time, killed some Terminators. <laughs> Bam! He just broke it in. So, so far, we're hoarding two points there. We're on two points there, he's hoarding three points there. So, he has to hopefully tie my guys up or get my guys to flee to win by three points, uh, by objective wise. However, I have. Uh, the first blood slash killing the warlord for three points. <clears throat> and he is about to get blind breaker. Well actually, no. Yeah. Close to it. But um other than that, we'll get back to you guys at the end of the next turn. And then later, there'll be a Robert right over there. Say hi Robert. And his Inquisition army with with Sisters of Battle. We're back to you guys at the end of turn four.
everybody. We are at the end of the game at the duel between Sergeant McCloud and the guy who was the big badass sergeant of the world leaders of filled with the Death Guard. They did a kamikaze kill against each other. A knife to the, to the juggler and then the power of fist through the chest. Just ruptured. Boom. 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 Up. The World Eater Squad that came on this side that charged um, took some serious damage from Overwatch and they did some damage into combat, killing one guy, shockingly. And then the rest of them retaliated back, and there's that one guy who's running back into the Rhino to get away. <laughs> And so, so far, the game by two points for the Remembracer, two points for the other um, cargo that's there, and three points for slaying the Warlord slash uh, First Blood. <coughs> Your thoughts, Brother James? Uh, I enjoyed it great. You know, I may have flaws, but I feel like the hero goes against the Terminator and uh, also Sergeant. So, you know, pretty much like a 20 versus 1 for us. Can survive like three turns, three or four turns locked in combat, <laughs> and, and it took a power fist, multiple tries from a power fist to end him. No right. Roll D6. As long as you roll a one, the dude is still alive in my in my book. <laughs> but um, what's the word? Looking forward to seeing the rest of your army stuff, which is the painting ability by your guys is getting a lot better. Thank you. Thank you. Especially uh, you world leader guys. So, so hopefully get a nice match in next week. Some bigger points and whatnot. See the rest of your army and everything. And also, uh, any shout outs to anybody? I'm waiting for the rest of the guys to come by. No, no, you got him right. What's up? Uh, too bad Jason's no longer here with his white scarf. That'll be pretty good. Also, there's a guy that's right over there with the black shirt from the Black Legion. We'll be seeing him in the future. Way to the camera. <laughs> yes, Black Legion over there. And then, so coming up next, we have more battle against Robert and his sisters of battle. It's Cameron Brain signing off. Hopefully, you enjoyed this you know, battle report for the new year. Uh, and that, peace later. And then, shalom. And my shout outs to. Uh, Phil Kelly, Paul Stive Miniatures, Dan Anthony Baldwin, you know, Danny Abnage and the rest of all the guys and stuff, you know, from uh, Black Library and, uh, you know, Eudori, Ed Norman, Phil Kelly, Andrew Whipple out there in, in um, Europe and just got married. Um, all my friends who just had kids and babies and stuff, you know, Sister uh, Che from that Che, you know, Sakri just got married. Congrats and whatnot. Um, there's a ton of other people like private to be named, just like the League of Extraordinary Gamers and um, Tom Haswell and all the other guys who are over at Games Terrains and Tabletop Gaming Terrain Makers and whatnot. Peace and later. And Brother Kamasar Gamza, next one's for you, man. Peace. Oh, Horace.